This video will provide an overview of the integration between Nervio Manager for WVD and the newly available Azure Monitor for WVD Insights. Microsoft has released a new workbook that allows you to monitor your WVD deployment, leveraging the Azure Monitor technology uh, that basically allows you to stream diagnostic data from WVD resources, as well as the log analytics agent that is installed in each session host for a great consolidated view of the WVD environment. Uh, this feature is currently in preview from Microsoft, and it is available as an integration in the Nerdia Manager for WVD, starting with version 2.8. If you install Nerdia Manager for WVD uh, as a new installation, starting with version 2.8, then the Azure Monitor integration will be available uh, and enabled automatically. You'll be able to see the integration under the Settings Integrations page. Uh, you'll notice there is a tile called Azure Monitor Insights with some details about what it is and a link to the Microsoft site to learn more. And you'll notice that the current status will be set to enabled and there will be at least one linked log analytics workspace uh, where all of the data will be collected. So this is going to be enabled by default. However, if you are using Nerdia Manager for WVD already, then by default, Azure Monitor Insights will be disabled when you upgrade to the latest version of Nerdia Manager and it will look something like this. Um, and the, in order to turn it on, very simply click on Disabled, select to turn it on. And when you do, you have the choice of either selecting an existing log analytics workspace that may be available in your Azure environment, or you can create a new uh, log analytics workspace, um, something like this, or whatever you want to call it, you select which resource group uh, you want to place it in. I uh, choose the location, uh, let's do North Central US. And then you can select which host pools to apply this configuration to. So if you click here, it will give you a list of all of your current host pools uh, listed and grouped by the workspace that they're associated with. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the a host pool called app attached demo. And then I have a message down here that says these changes will apply only to newly created or re-imaged hosts. And if I wanted to apply it to existing hosts, I would simply check this box, uh, select how many hosts I want to process concurrently. Let's say I want to do this in groups of five. And it just tells me that uh, this is going to take a little while and where to find the logs. It's going to be on the logs page. You could track the status. And this is also a non-disruptive process that should not interrupt currently logged in users. And what this will do is it will enable the diagnostics streaming from the WVD resources to this log analytics workspace that will get created. And then it will go through each and every host within the selected host pool or host pools and install the log analytics agent pointing it at that log analytics workspace. And finally, it will configure the WVD Insights workbook with all the necessary parameters that it needs in order to collect the data. So once enabled, uh, let's actually go ahead and turn it on using an existing workspace. And let's go ahead and click OK. Once Azure Monitor Insights is enabled, you can easily add additional host pools to be monitored by clicking here again and adding them to the list. Any newly created host pools will automatically be added and monitoring will be enabled. And you can also go into your workspace and turn monitoring on right from the host pool property. So if we go down here to the dropdown, go to properties, select Azure Monitor and turn it on. We have the choice of selecting our log analytics workspace that was linked on the previous page. And we can check the box 
to either apply to existing hosts or to apply to newly created hosts. Once we click OK, this is going to enable monitoring on those hosts in that host pool. So now that the monitoring is enabled, uh, in order to access the data, you will notice a new option under the monitoring menu called Azure WVD Insights. Clicking on Azure WVD Insights will take you to the Insights tab of the Windows Virtual Desktop Blade and give you a selection of all of your host pools. The host pools that you've enabled this monitoring on, for example, our Appetage demo, if you select it from the list, you will notice that it's already uh, fully configured and available. Once you select a host pool where monitoring has been enabled, you will see uh, that the workbook already has been configured and you can go through and look at the various tabs to understand performance, diagnostics, connectivity data. Uh, and as users are starting to log in, data will be streamed to Log Analytics and you're going to see all of this data reflected on this page. Um, a common question we receive is whether or not this Log Analytics uh, or Azure Monitor based insights can be used in conjunction with the Sapago monitoring. And their answer is, is that it can. So if you're currently using Sapago Azure Monitor, uh, you get some additional level of data uh, and, and logging detail, and you can have Azure Monitor Insights and native Azure Monitor enabled uh, together with Sapago Azure Monitor. And you can see the various dashboards. You know, these three are coming from Sapago. This one is from Azure Monitor and they can be working at the same time in the same environment and even be monitoring the same set of hosts within the same set of host pools. So today's video uh, was about Azure Monitoring Insights. Integration happens on the Settings Integrations tab, uh, and then the host pool monitoring can be enabled from either the host pool or from this page right here. And then once it's enabled, then you can click on this link that will get added under the monitoring menu to view the actual performance and monitor your environment uh, to, to have a good level of visibility into what's going on and what the experience of your users looks like. See you in the next video.